Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for your one-stop shop of buying or selling coins and solo grinding services. Use code ZERK at checkout for 10% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have the upgraded turkey trotter players. Now some of these players actually did not get upgrades so we're going to take a look at those first and you guys can see we have Eddie Jackson. Now something I think is kind of stupid, Eddie Jackson had a pick six. So to me even though his turkey trotter was in fact to get you know three tackles or six tackles I feel like because he had the pick six, he should have at least got it some sort of upgrade, either to 91 or to 93 overall, just because of the fact that I feel like he definitely deserved it after that game. So sadly, he is going to be only a 90 overall. He did not get his tackles. Still, though, the card is not too bad, but if you did do his turkey trotter, unfortunately, you didn't really get much in return uh, as a reward. So 88 speed, 90 acceleration, 83 man, 88 zone, with an 83 pursuit, 90 hit power, 65 block shit, 81 catching. Uh, price wise, I don't even think that he's up on the auction block yet, so you can't even see what his price is going to be going for. Uh, but looking literally on my Xbox right now, he's about 200,000 coins. If you guys did do Eddie Jackson, you can sell him for a little bit of coinage, but the odds are you're probably not going to be able to get much out of him. And we also have Byron Jones now. As a Cowboys fan, obviously I'm just watching this game. Byron Jones almost had an interception there was a tip ball that came pretty close to him and he actually just did not end up reaching the ball in time so sadly he could have an easy interception there and this card have been a 93 overall and honestly probably would have been a pretty solid card as in 93 but sadly he is gonna be only a 90 overall looking at my xbox right now i do not see any up on the auction block so i can't really tell you guys what his price is gonna be probably maybe like 150 140k uh but that's how all these cards come down in price the 90 overalls byron jones eddie jackson probably would be about 100 or so thousand coins really 90s uh so probably won't go for that much byron jones card does have 90 speed with 92 excel 85 man 86 zone if he could have got to 93 he would have had probably 90 man and 90 zone so would have had the elite tier thresholds there would have been a little bit faster and of course that jumping of a 94 is definitely pretty good and he was usually a safety or at least he was a safety until this year so that hit power would have got increased and that would have been pretty solid as well sadly anthony brown got a pick and i believe uh there were some other cowboys players as well they got some interceptions i don't remember who but i think it was xavier woods uh had like one or two so byron jones sadly not able to get a pick and didn't even get a pass defense so he did actually only end up staying in 90 overall but i told you guys probably not to do byron jones because he really doesn't get thrown at next up is devondre campbell so he actually did get an upgrade he had four total tackles on thanksgiving day so he, had, he did actually get an upgrade so let's take a look at his stats now so he actually has uh, 84 speed, 86 excel, 79 block shed, 87 pursuit, 86 tackling with 83 hit power, also has a 90 play rec, 84 zone, 85 finesse move, and an 83 hit power. Not that great. I mean, he's pretty solid if you want to go ahead and use him, I guess. Uh, I feel like there's a lot better user cards you can get, though, especially since the fact he only has a 59 catching. Uh, the 84 speed, 86 excel is pretty solid as well, but the zone coverage really isn't the greatest. He doesn't have a power up. So you guys can technically go ahead and put like lockdown count on him. And then if you have uh, John Madden, you can know it's like 88, 89 zone coverage around there. Not exactly the best looking card, but it could be a lot worse. Mudhead has him as a 95 overall 4-3 outside linebacker and a 96 coverage. Personally, if I saw this card, I'm not going to be very intimidated. Next up is Kenny Galladay. Now Galladay actually ended the first half of the game, I believe with like three or four receiving yards so he did not look on pace to go ahead and get this but luckily he did actually end up with uh over 40 receiving yards i believe he actually had like 80 or 90 so he was really close to actually getting a 93 overall upgrade sadly he did not end up reaching that but taking a look at kenny Galladay's stats he has 89 speed 89 acceleration with a 91 catch 87 catch in traffic 92 spectacular catch with an 86 short route running 88 medium in a 90 deep route running 85 release with a 55 run block 61 impact block the card is actually not too bad uh it's obviously not super good and he's going for about 160,000 coins 
uh, right now on the Xbox. So unfortunately, Kenny Galladay would have been honestly a really, really good card in 93 with the fact that he's six foot four. Probably would have had about 91, 92 speed-ish. Really wish the catching traffic was a little bit better, but for a jump ball receiver with 92 spec catch, still pretty good. Also taking a look at Kenny Galladay's stats, Clutch, unfortunately, is no. Covers ball, though, is brace for all hits. He does fight for extra yards. He makes the aggressive. He makes the rack. And he also makes the possession catches. He doesn't drive open passes, but he also does not make the sideline catch. And he has a high motor. So if you're looking for, like, wide receiver depth or you have an all-Lions team, pair this man with Calvin Johnson. You have two pretty tall receivers. They can both go up and get a deep ball. Uh, so if you put go deep on him, 95 spec catch, 93 deep route running. Plus, if you have John Madden, you can get a little bit more uh, catching stat-wise. Just kind of sucks that that catching traffic is not even a 90, and the speed, not a 90 either. Next up is Mark Ingram, which I honestly was pretty high on Mark Ingram possibly getting his 100 uh, rushing yards. I kind of felt like he could have got it. Sadly, though, he only got 40, and this card probably is not going to be very good. Now, Mudhead has him as a 94 power back, 92 elusive, not a very good receiver, but a pretty good, good uh, goal line back, 88 speed, 91 excel. That's obviously <laughs> not a very fast running back. Uh, he also has 90 trucking, which is pretty good, 93 ball carry vision, 90 juke move with 89 carry, 86 break tackle. To be honest, I'm not really impressed with this card. I do like the trucking. The speed is just a little too slow. And the juke and ball carry vision is good. But for being a 92 overall elusive back, the man only has 79 elusiveness. Uh, Stat-wise, or I should say trait-wise, clutch is yes. That's really good. Because if you guys don't know what clutch does, basically, in the fourth quarter, I believe their stats actually get like a little bit of a boost. Uh, if you guys are like in the fourth quarter. Covers the ball, brace for all hits. That's good. Fights for extra yards, yes, but catching wise, doesn't make the aggressive, doesn't make the wreck, doesn't make possession. He doesn't drop open passes, but he doesn't make the sideline catches, and he does have a high motor. So, not terrible, but personally, there's a ton better running backs I would rather have, like Zeke, Ricky Williams, Saquon Barkley. Card to me, unless you're a Saints fan, kind of useless. And finally, we have the final Turkey Trotter who actually got an upgrade, which is Vernon Davis. I honestly thought he might not even have uh, that many catches with the fact they don't have Alex Smith anymore, but he did actually have at least two catches. So Vernon Davis went up to 91 overall, and this is actually uh, kind of an underrated card, to be honest. Uh, now, keep in mind, we did just get the Blitz Evan Ingram, which I believe that card has like 89 speed. Just absolutely insane for a tight end to have 89 speed. But Vernon Davis himself has 87 speed with 89 acceleration. He's also six foot three. Now Vernon, I believe, actually has like some better catching stats than Evan Ingram. So 92 catching, that's okay. 90 catching traffic, solid. Uh, 88 spectacular catch, okay. Route running all around, uh, release not that great, and the awareness is pretty good as well. With only an 86 jumping. So really, Vernon Davis is going to be kind of just your slants, uh, drags. Or, he is fast enough if you put him on like a streak up the seam, uh, he can definitely pull a tight end or pull a linebacker or a safety up the field and kind of leave a slant open across the middle so you can kind of use him as a distraction. With a 69 run block and a 74 impact block, that's actually not too shabby for Vernon Davis. Now, taking a look at his traits, clutch, no. Brace for all hits, yes. He does also fight for extra yards, but he won't make the aggressive catch. I really don't think he should be going for that with Vernon Davis. Uh, makes the rack and makes the possession catches. Doesn't drop open passes, but doesn't make the sideline. And he also has a high motor. So I'm going to say probably all these guys will be about maybe 150K-ish uh, by the end of the day. I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably in school. So once you guys get out of school, uh, these players will probably go down quite a bit in price. I don't think any of these guys will actually be super expensive. And sadly, none of them actually did go up to 93 overall. So that's another year where we don't have any 93 overall players. I believe in Madden, I want to say it was Madden 17. We did not have any single player go up to 93 overall. I believe last year we had two people who actually got their things. I believe Xavier Rhodes and Jace Pierre Paul. They both went up to 93. Sadly, this year we did not get any super good upgrades. But out of these players, I'd say Vernon Davis and probably Kenny Galladay are the best ones. And I was really hoping that Eddie Jackson with six tackles, because taking a look at his stats, if he went up to 93, he would be like a better Sean Taylor. And I was super excited for this card. Sadly, he had a pick six, didn't go up to 93. 
Maybe he'll get some upgrades in the future as he's being like one of the best safeties in the NFL. Could see a team of the year or maybe a Christmas card coming pretty soon. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe and comment. Thank you guys for all the support. You guys have been absolutely insane. Make sure you guys go ahead and check out my other videos from today. Hope you enjoyed. See you guys next time.